You'll recall back in part nine of this series where I shared the first tip about these torque patterns with you. And that was the hip flexors always work alone. And you can see that again here with them all by themselves in yellow for the image on the left and all by themselves in red for the image on the right. In part 10 of this series, I shared two more tips with you. Those being that the right leg always generates a counterclockwise torque as seen here in red for both images. And the left leg always generates a clockwise torque as seen here in yellow for both images. Now I wanna go ahead and share another tip with you to help you relate to these torque patterns a little better. And that is, while we know the direction of torque produced by the legs never changes, the direction of torque produced by the arms and torso does. And they always change their direction to support the leg pushing off the ground as seen by the four torques in red for the image on the left, as well as the four torques in yellow for the image on the right. So what this tells us then is the arms and torso are needed to provide assistance to the leg doing most of the work, which is the one on the ground supporting the weight of the entire body, pushing or driving it forward. And that's the reason their torques are needed to constantly change direction. So knowing the arms and torso work with the leg that is on the ground is another little tip to help you see these torque patterns better.